Hey there. So, um, so I was talking to somebody last night and I was, I was getting them to understand, <coughs> excuse me, the difference in playing hard, um, or working hard and being a hard worker. So many athletes nowadays, you know, say, well, um, I'm going to work hard. 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 And I always ask, what does that mean? What does working hard mean? What does that mean? Um, and I get athletes to understand. Excuse me. I got this cold coming on. But um, why would a coach give you a scholarship if you don't work hard? Does that make sense? Like, why would a coach give you a scholarship if you don't work hard? That's kind of nonsense. Um, but I was explaining to the individual um, the the story of back when I was um, working as a dean and I was working uh, in a high school in Chicago. And the, the team was amazing. Like, I mean, literally a traveling road show. Um, and they went to down to the state championship. They went down to the state championship um, two years in a row. And so I was actually still coaching at the time, but I was also like helping and, and, and consulting with the team also. But the coach's son, uh, and this is Or Academy. Many of you may know um, or have heard of Or Academy, have won now three, uh, at the time of this video, three state championships right now, uh, vying for a fourth. But the coach's son, uh, Lou Adams, and so Lou Adams Jr., so this kid, <clears throat> now here's the difference. This is what I was explaining to the young man and his dad when I was talking to him last night. This is the difference in somebody working hard and somebody being a hard worker. Well, because I was the dean, I would have coaches, division one coaches, I would have coaches call me um, because they weren't necessarily contacting the athlete. But I would speak to a few friends of mine. You know, they weren't doing anything illegal, but I was speaking to a few friends of mine, and these were from some top Division One schools. And they would call, you know, maybe saw him on the circuit or saw him during play, and they would say, man, I love that kid, Adam. You know, I love the coach's son, but, you know, he just got an attitude problem. And I would explain to the coaches, and until I under explained it to them, they didn't understand it. So see, it's a difference. It's a major difference in the mindset of athletes. Some people work hard. Some people are hard workers. So Lou Adams Jr., people couldn't understand his passion and they say he had a bad attitude because like he would he would let his teammates know, like he would he would go in. And he would go in and time out on the court sometime. And I would explain to coaches, coach, it's not that he has an attitude problem. He just can't quite understand why everybody isn't a hard worker like he is. He just can't comprehend why everybody next to him is not a hard worker. Why they're not on the same energy that he's on. And so it could be frustrating. They were like, wow, I never thought about that. And I said, so it's not that he's a bad teammate. He's an excellent teammate. And so lo and behold, you know, went to, you know, college, um, went to a division one school, graduated, um, won a championship in college, um, you know, was playing overseas as, as, a, as a pro. But I'm saying that to say that some athletes just claim to work hard. And to me, that's like when they need to. Other players are just hard workers and it's just built in them and they only know one way to work. And so everything they do is hard working. So like I was explaining this to a young man and his dad because I was saying like, you have to understand that everybody on your team is not on your team for the same reason. I'm gonna say that again. Everybody on your team is not on your team for the same reason. So for those people that are serious, and now for some of those individuals that are under recruited or just not even being recruited, well, you have to be able to change your mindset from saying, okay, and feeling like, okay, I'm gonna work hard. To everything that you do, you have to be hard working. 
And then from there, now the opportunities start to come and the opportunities start to flow. So it was nothing wrong with his attitude. He just didn't understand why everybody didn't have the fortitude that he did. And I had to explain to him after I talked to the third coach and I told his dad, I said, listen, let me tell you these conversations that I've been having. And I told Lil Lou. And I said, so now understand this. Everybody not in it for the same reason. I think once you understand that, especially for the parents of under-recruited or unrecruited athletes, that will help your athlete tremendously. So I just wanted to drop by and just drop this off because, um, you know, I had so many people saying, hey, yeah, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to work hard. What does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? But you have to understand that everybody is not in it for the same reason that you're in it. And because of that, you have to be super, super focused and you have to have a detailed plan and know exactly how to then attract those coaches that are looking for you as opposed to you just going around and just um, taking anything and everything that may possibly come your way, even if it's not good. So listen, I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. Uh, parents, if you would like to see more, hear more training on things like this, how to help your athlete get a scholarship, go check out my free case study at b2bsdhoopsmastery.com, b2bsdhoopsmastery.com, um, and feel free to reach out to me, and we can get on the phone and line out uh, a whole plan for your athlete, see if he's a good fit, she's a good fit to work with us, um, and then we'll go from there, all right? All of your scholarship success, all right, lies in the information that you know, all right? Talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.